grabbed. Well, I mean, actually, but... Oh, he's Hatsu playing Ice Climbers, bro. He's doing it, he's doing oh it. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Maybe it's not all that bad, you know, because Donkey Kong could also go ahead and hit the Ice Climbers off stage, and if he gets to grab the cargo throw, he can go just take, na you know, Nana off there and get it to Sopo, and Sopo versus Donkey Kong is very doable. Yeah, yeah, but it, that's, you have to get the uh, not off stage. That's true, that's the, that's the hard part. Yeah, and uh, just getting him separated as Donkey Kong is kind of interesting. You're going to have to deal with all that projectiles oh God, and yeah. all those buttons. Oh, gosh, getting with the up air to fair. And now, how is he going to recover? He just throws neutral beast, and he's doing the desyncs, too. And there's not really much Donkey Kong can do against that. He's just stuck in the corner. He's oh still has like percent. Stop it! He's already dead! He's not dead yet, bro. He's <laughs> he still gotta go. Be. So now he has all this rage. He has something to actually go ahead and do now, though. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hey, look, look, I'm, oh, I'm telling no. you, this is all you This is how it starts. Yeah, he's off stage. Nice and upbeat to get himself back on. And honestly, that's such a good option because it, like, the hands are just so big. And sometimes it just feels like it sucks you in. Oh, great oh punish! Oh my god! Nana died, but not Popo, and he's gonna get back yeah, row! There you go, done. that was great! Go ahead and get the mix-up on that DI, though. That yeah, he's great. dead right there. He's dead now, right. now he's, he's dead. Glug, absolutely dead. I called Glug though. to be dead, and it was the ultimate commentator's curse, and yeah. I apologize. Yep, and there's the side for beam. Up there, <laughs> up there. Is he gonna go for a third one? Crazy 56%. He, he was a stock behind, but now he just brought it immediately all the way back. Yeah, my guy, absolutely. Oh, wow, okay, we got Donkey Kong combos. I like it. Yeah, honestly, down B is such a fantastic tool against a character like Ice Climbers, honestly, because of how meaty it is. And I think, like, when you hit their shield, it staggers the hit stun a little bit. So, like, it, you don't know when you could drop your shield against so, a character like Donkey Kong. This is starting to look like Star Wars Episode oh. 1. It's all like, I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. True. And now off stage, he's stuck in the corner. Is he going to be able to get anything out of it? There's yeah. up airs coming in from uh, Ice Climbers. No, I was I, I was telling you I was right. Clug, yeah. please prove me right when I was talking about this matchup. All you have to do is just get them off stage. You got this win. Oh. My guy, I'm right. There you go. See, look, <laughs> bring it right back right there. One stock apiece. This match is very even, I'm telling you. Oh, uh, yeah. Honestly looking like it. Proving me wrong. <laughs> and... Man, the, but the desync's getting started a little bit. Great dash attack coming in from Glug. Is he going to be able to find his way in? Up till coming in from Ice Climbers, and Glug is just trading blow for blow, and honestly, kind of working out. Even though he's percent behind, it like Nana's still taking all of this percent. You don't really know her number. Mm, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So, but up air, you can't be in the air against Ice Climbers. Ice Climbers up till and up air are like absolutely. Oh no! No, you can't get up attacking against Ice Climbers. One of them could hold the forward smash, and then the other one could just hold shield. Yeah, no, that was actually pretty crazy. Great decision actually from Big D. Mm hmm. And Big D closing out that game like very solidly right now. Yeah, but we're gonna have to see what's gonna be Glug's adaptation. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I actually, I, I hope that he, yeah, so he's gonna just run it back. I hope he just continues with his Donkey Kong. Mm hmm. I, I want to see it. But the Big D is the seed number one of this entire tournament, which is crazy. Glug actually has <laughs> pretty, pretty good hands on that. Yeah, well, Big D, all he is the invader right now, all the way from uh, the BC. British Columbia, mm -hmm. and uh, getting this game number two, Glug staying Donkey Kong, and we're going to Hollow Bastion now. Okay. All right, smaller bottom platforms, and it's going to be interesting stuff to see what they're going to be going for. But man, look at this pressure that uh, Big D has. Oh my! Whoa! Oh, okay. I, I like the idea I that he had there. He's gonna get cheesed. Uh, he Speaking got cheesed. cheesed. He got cheesed. He oh my guy, bring out the cheesed. queso. That was cheesy. Wow, that was crazy. I can't believe he hit him with the second part of the down B. And now Glug has such a fantastic lead in this game number two. He uh, he was getting touched a little bit, but oh, like, see, I know the I know the adjustment. See, like last time, he was playing Tropical Donkey Kong, but now he's playing Yeti Donkey Kong. He's resistant to the ice now. Oh yeah, that is honestly. <laughs> Crazy I did, I did. counter pick. Yeah, no, that's a crazy counter pick actually yeah. coming up from Glug. Great counter pick. Good awareness. I'm surprised he didn't think about uh -oh. that in game one. Neutral B against Donkey Kong recovery is so ugly. Oh, God. And there's the up smash coming in from Big D. And it, I know there's 47% on Ice Climbers, but Ice Climbers need to touch you once and then they're back to even. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> and if that, sometimes you're just dead if they touch you. Oh, God, look at that. Side B into double up there. Maybe it's not He's as close as I thought. My guy, he got touched once. He got 83 off of it. That's, that's nutty. Oh, man. What's going to happen? 
lots of uh, lots of projectiles coming in from Big D. He is not afraid to throw them out against Donkey Kong. Ooh, good oh, back here. Missing out on his punish. No, he gets whipped. Oh back. my god! I'm telling you, it's freaking Yeti Kong. Let's go. That's crazy. He hit him out of the side B. The neutral B was long enough to actually get him through it. And now, like, Glug has another fantastic lead. He just needs to close it out. Oh my god, oh, I don't know. Another how, donkey I don't punch. Know how you he can't get, get grabbed. Oh my god. Can't get god. grabbed. Th there was honestly nothing he could do. He yeah, threw no. out the he threw out the the punch and just he got he got that great desync and everything. It was really great play by Big D. Mm -hmm. Oh, the dash tech. Trading He'll take that trade. He'll take that trade though. Yeah, he would. But like he's very he's close. close out. Man, it's so safe. That's so safe. Oh my great spot dodge there. And the what parry, parry, but no punish. Yeah. Uh, it's so hard to punish. You, like it was an insane cross up, honestly, coming up from Big D. And now, what's Big D gonna do to get him out? And, the desync actually getting him out of the side beam. No punish coming in from uh, Glug. And now, oh, no. no that, was, that was good. That was really safe. He just went ahead and pressured his yeah. shield hella good. Yeah, but it looked like he oh, could have added yeah. a true punish. And there I it is, yeah. up to up to the uh, oh, smash. And Big I, D. I really wanted a game three out of that. Big D really went ahead and closed that out yeah. really soundly. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, honestly, Glug was actually looking fantastic right there, especially <laughs> especially after that stock one. God, that first stock was <laughs> naughty. That first stock was naughty.